Taylor Swift in Deadpool 3? Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Taylor Swift in Deadpool 3. Let's get right into it. If you've heard rumors and fan theories about Taylor Swift appearing in Deadpool 3, you'll have to hold your excitement for the time being. Swift will not appear in the highly anticipated sequel, according to Ryan Reynolds. The rumors and fan theories began when Reynolds posted a video with Hugh Jackman, the big announcement that everyone had been waiting for. Jackman would play Wolverine in Deadpool 3 after Reynolds had spent six years asking him to join the Deadpool films. Swift shot All Too Well, the short film last year, in the same house where Reynolds and Jackman filmed the big announcement. Fans thought they had connected the dots when Reynolds' Deadpool wore a shirt with Swift's cats on it in Deadpool 2. Unfortunately, Reynolds joked about this in an interview with Entertainment Tonight, stating that Swift would not be appearing in the next Deadpool film or joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe anytime soon. But he would be down for having his longtime friend appear in Deadpool 3, gushing, Are you kidding me? I would do anything for that woman. And he has been right about doing anything for her, since allowing her to wear his Deadpool movie costume for Halloween in 2016. Reynolds also called Swift a genius, saying that his daughters regard Swift as family, like an aunt to them, and did not consider her a songwriting superstar and musician. Taylor Swift is in fact one of the most successful musicians of all time. She began as a country music singer and songwriter before branching out into pop and other genres. She has sold over 200 million records worldwide and has received 11 Grammys, an Emmy, 34 American Music Awards and 29 Billboard Music Awards, as well as being named Artist and Woman of the Decade. It's no surprise that Deadpool's character is a die-hard Swifty. Ryan and Blake also gave up their lakeside home in New York last year for Taylor to film her short film All Too Well, and Blake recently directed the music video for Taylor's song I Bet You Think About Me. Taylor in turn frequently pays tribute to Blake and Ryan's children in her music, including a sample of their then two-year-old daughter James on her 2017 song Gorgeous. According to People, Taylor played the unreleased song to her friends while they were visiting her one day and James became so obsessed with the word gorgeous after the personal performance that Taylor recorded her saying it to introduce the track. And when Blake and Ryan went to watch Taylor on her reputation tour, they couldn't hide their excitement as their toddler's voice played out in a stadium of 60,000 people. The proud parents were filmed enthusiastically jumping up and down as Gorgeous started at the show and Blake later admitted on Good Morning America, we were very embarrassed. That was the true, unfiltered version of our terrible stage parent pride. She went on to say that James is completely unaware of her celebrity and that she refused to let Taylor credit her daughter on the song because she wants her children to live normal lives. Blake explained, our kids have very normal lives, as much as that's possible. She then added, so she didn't even get a title on the album, I should be collecting royalties. Taylor paid a second tribute to Blake and Ryan's children in 2020 when she mentioned James and her two younger sisters, Inez and Betty, in her song Betty, which appears on the Folklore album. The song tells a story of a failed high school romance, and each of the named characters is an obvious reference to the children of her close friends, which Ryan previously described as pretty damn amazing. He told Sirius X at that time, The names are the names of our kids, but we trust her implicitly. She's very sensitive to any of that stuff. And obviously the song has nothing to do with our kids other than our kids' names. Ryan then added, But I mean, what an honor. We thought it was pretty damn amazing. We still do. You know, I still walk down the street and shake my head thinking, I can't believe that happened. He went on to say that he and Blake surprised their daughters by not telling them Taylor had used their names before they heard the song for the first time. Ryan said, They didn't know. They had no idea. In a new interview, Ryan discussed his children's close relationship with Auntie Taylor, recalling the exact moment James, Inez and Betty learned she was a global superstar. He said in an interview with Sirius XM, I think what's most exciting for them is that for the longest time they just thought Taylor's just a, you know, like an aunt, like a friend of mommy and daddy, that's very very close, almost family. He then said, and then they went to a concert one day and were like, oh, oh, this isn't a hobby. Meanwhile, Deadpool 3 fans will also have to wait a little longer because filming has not yet begun. However, the fourth wall-breaking character who wears a red suit so bad guys don't see him bleed has gone on several adventures, including killing the man who turned him into Deadpool and saving his girlfriend in the first Deadpool and meeting Cable, played by Josh Brolin, in Deadpool 2. Whatever adventures he embarks on in Deadpool 3, we know it will be exciting. Deadpool 3 is scheduled to hit theaters on November 8, 2024. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.